let's find the derivative of this function. The first thing you are going to observe is that 3x squared is now replacing x. From the derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions, when you differentiate the sine inverse of x, you're going to get 1 divide the square root of 1 minus x squared. This 1 at the top came from the differentiation of x. When you differentiate x, you're going to get 1. Then, we're going to recopy back this x here, but it will be squared. Next. I won't be differentiating x this time around, but 3x squared. Differentiate 3x squared. And here is no longer 1, we are going to have 6x. Next, I will return 3x squared to the position of x. Next, we are going to apply the law of indices. So this part of the function that is this 2 with square 3 and you're going to get 9 next this 2 with square x squared and you're going to get x to the power of 4 and this becomes our dy dx from the options our answer is c Next, let's find the cos inverse of 4x plus 3. The first thing you are going to observe is that 4x plus 3 have taken over the place of x. The derivative of cos inverse of x is minus 1 divide the square root of 1 minus x squared. This one was the derivative of, however, we got 4x plus 3. Differentiate 4x and you're going to get 4. Next, differentiate 3 and you're going to get 0. But I will let the 0 out. Next, in the place of x, I will replace it with 4x plus 3. Hence, 4x plus 3 is now replacing x. This is simplified. Do not expand the bracket. And this becomes our dy dx. From the options, our answer is b. Next, let's find the derivative of this function. In this tan inverse, you can see that 2x minus 1 have taken over the place of x. If you differentiate the tan inverse of x, you are going to get 1 divide 1 plus x squared. Here, there is no square root. The differentiation of this x gave us 1 and this x was returned however it was squared observe that with the tan inverse there is no square root and here we got a plus not a minus the differentiation of x gave us 1 However, we now have 2x minus 1. Next, differentiate 2x. And here, we are going to have 2. Next, differentiate 1. When you differentiate a constant, you are going to get 0. However, I will let it out. Next, in the place of this x, we are going to replace it with 2x minus 1. This is simplified. You do not need to open the bracket. 
and this is our dy dx from the options our answer is a this is calculus